Welcome, Gemini, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general, and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what words needs and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides, all angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright guys, let me go ahead and also burn some sage. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the energy for the person that is connected to Gemini in love for the month of December? And Spirit, what is Gemini's energy towards this person? And what is the connective energy between the two? What is the uh, general energy for my collective Geminis that is watching this channeling, the energies of the person that is connected to them in love and their energies towards each other. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. So this one to show out, um, it's the Ten of Cups. So I have a feeling that for the both of you, um, you really consider each other as your happy place. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, in the middle here. I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple of shuffles. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the clear message that wants to come through for my lovely Geminis? who is connected to their person and love for the month of December. Thank you. So I see that your person is really heartbroken. Okay, this could be about third party situation. Um, there could have been uh, some sort of a heartbreak, okay, and it's in regards to a third party. Now, this could be in regards to you. Maybe you had a third party situation or perhaps this person was uh, dating someone outside of the connection and there was a third party that interfered in the connection with your love interest. Wow, I really see that they're not happy, okay? Um, I really feel like their intuition was really blocked. I feel like, um, and this person was wearing a uh, rose tinted glasses in regards to a third party situation. And, um, now their heart is blocked. They were in a state of duality. I have a feeling that this person was in between you and someone else. Okay. So I have a feeling that um, they were more uh, um, involved with another person rather than you, Gemini. And I really feel that this person has uh, turned their back from you and they actually have became uh, cold. Now, this could be an Aries, okay? Uh, also, you know, they're really stressed. They can't really think about how to let go of the situation. 
because they don't feel good. So this is what I'm also feeling. So Gemini, if you were in a relationship with this person, this person cheated on you. I have a feeling that they're really heartbroken over what they have done and um, they don't have it in them to face you. Okay. So I have a, you know, a feeling that something had happened. Okay. Either you cheated on them or they cheated on you or maybe this isn't about cheating maybe this is about dating and they were dating multiple people with you included and um they they were heartbroken um in in the whole situation here okay they're not feeling very good uh about themselves right now and for some okay your person is actually um getting out of a, a commitment okay maybe uh, their values and your values or maybe the other person's values are possibly not in alignment for some uh, I have a feeling that they were in a relationship with a you know a past person and I really feel that they needed to really work on themselves instead of being needy and codependent Okay, so I have a feeling that that could be a person towards them. This could be them towards you. I'm definitely picking up both energies. Okay, take what resonates. But I see that they do want to offer some sort of apology. Because this person keeps thinking of the past, but they feel like they can't really uh, move things forward. So I have a feeling that they've been watching you, either on social media or whatnot. And here we are with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe this person is trying to see, <clears throat> are you getting out of a, a partnership or um, is this person getting out of a relationship with somebody or they're spying on somebody else that is trying to get out of a relationship so they can actually have a new chapter with you, okay? Yeah, they definitely want to uh, balance things out. I really feel like there was a form of manipulation from a third party. I definitely am picking up that it could be on anybody's side for that matter. Let's see. Now with you, I see that you're not really telling the truth. I feel like you're being sneaky that you actually also are thinking about two options here and you have decided that maybe the relationship with your love interest is over okay so i definitely feel like there was a third party that um that got involved between the two of you that's what i'm saying there's trouble in paradise <laughs> let's see what is the connective energy And here's the, look guys, okay, here's that 10 of cups, okay, it didn't even want to turn around, so, you know, what I'm feeling is that there was happiness here between you two, but something has happened, okay, Gemini, you're not revealing your truth that you've made a decision that you're, you're accepting the situation as it is, and um, yeah, there was a third party. I really feel like you turned your back uh, on this person. I have a feeling that this person, um, I wouldn't say that they were cheating on you, but I don't know. There's a little, a lot of sneaky behaviors on both sides. Okay, I'm not gonna, yeah, as I said that, the magician wanted to come out. <laughs> so yeah, sneaky behaviors on both sides, right? You guys are not really telling the truth towards one another. So let's see. Look at this. We have the lovers in reverse. So that's your energy, Gemini. Let's see. One more card, please, Spirit. The connective energy between Gemini and their love interest. What is the connective energy? What is the connective energy? Uh, 
Okay, waiting for the right time, okay? I don't know what you guys are waiting on. I feel like it's Christmas or maybe it's the end of the year, okay? But this is around Christmas time. The three days, the three weeks is what I'm saying, especially as I'm recording this. Today is November 30th, 2021, okay? Also, there's no communication. Both you guys are holding back co contacting with one another. I feel like it's because there's deception, um, there's heartbreak, there's uh, third party situations. And I have a feeling that whoever your person is, they can't really offer you their love. I really feel like it's because um, they were boohooing over somebody else over here. But um, I don't know. I have a feeling like maybe they kept you as an option also. But look at you. You're not really revealing your truth that um i mean you're you're hurt over a third party situation so maybe you i don't know gemini i mean did you have a third party also i mean i the way i'm looking at it it can go both ways okay <laughs> But if it's not you, somebody, okay? So it could be your person that was doing, uh, you know, the whole back and forth between you and someone else. Let's see. Spirit, can you tell me a little bit more about this person? What is the past energy? What is the present? And what is the future energy for a Gemini's love interest towards you? Past, present, and future energies. Yeah, again, here's the Aries that's coming out again. So, a uh, very strong Aries energy. This person turned their back uh, from you, and now they're being very cold, very manipulative, and being rude. Okay? Um, yeah, something has happened, and it came to them as a shock. Okay, that, ooh, there is an empress. Now, look how ironic this is. Okay, so this person is a distorted masculine, but they're, they're kind of surprised that there is a divine feminine energy here. Okay, someone who may be pregnant or may be uh, your divine counterpart. Okay, take as it resonates now. I don't know why I'm feeling this, but I feel like I'm channeling a karmic um, person that you are connected with. Okay, Gemini. Now, I don't know, take it as it resonates, but you know, that could be one potential. The other thing I'm also feeling is that this person has gone cold on you because they were married or they were dealing with a baby's mama or a baby's daddy. Okay take as a resonate now this this was unexpected this person came out of nowhere and that's why they can't offer you much so either you got pregnant with somebody or the the past person or they got pregnant with somebody else that's why this is drama okay i don't know how else to put this but this is some drama stuff is what i'm getting and they they don't even have the strength to really work on this situation, you know, and I feel like they lost the passion, the desire, or the creativity uh, to have uh, this happy, happy family with you. I really feel like this person is coming off fake. Now, the connective energy, and I, I saw it time and time again, was the Ten of Cups, right? That's what I saw, but now this person has gone cold on you. Okay, and um, maybe they're not telling you the truth that um, they're kind of stuck in a codependent situation. Now, this could be a behavior. Uh, this could be a way of being. Um, but there's an unhealthy attachment that they have. And I feel like it's with, I feel like it's a baby's daddy. I don't know why I'm picking up on this. So, Gemini, are, are you dealing with somebody who, um, who is uh, married? okay or baby's mama baby's daddy now for some it could be an earth sign okay because i see here the devil energy and also the king of pentacles could be virgo could be capricorn or taurus take it as a resonance but i see that they're looking at their options okay and they want to reconcile with you they had financial issues like i don't know who this person is but you know they they really are connecting with their higher self thinking that this won't work okay 
Um, so th here they come. They come charging in, and they want to communicate that they, they really feel that um, they're not feeling good. They're not feeling very stable or balanced, and they feel like they can't offer you love at this time. Honestly, this is what it feels like. Your person is stressed out. Sorry. Sorry guys, I have another business. <laughs> the natives are getting restless. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, what I'm seeing here is that your person can't make a love offer towards you because they're stressed. I feel like they're dealing with somebody else and I feel like it's a baby's mama or a baby's daddy. And um, that is what's going on. Now, for, for you, Gemini, maybe you're a baby's mama, baby's daddy. You know, take it as a rest needs, but I really feel like uh, this person, they have somebody else, okay? They have other people involved. Now, it could be on both sides, but let's see. So, I see in the past, this person cut you out. They couldn't tell you the truth about what was going on. And right now, I see that they're blocking their heart. And the future, I see that um, they just feel like it's a missed opportunity. So, we'll go ahead and figure out what is going on with them. So, let's go ahead and take a look at your energy. Sperry, can you please reveal to me, what is the energy... For the sign of Gemini, how do you currently, um, what is the, the past, what is the present, and what is the near future energy between you and your love interest? Let's see. Wow, we have the sun. So there's something here that you're seeing. Okay, this is Leo energy. And wow, again, we have here the five of cups. You're seeing that you're, you're really heartbroken that your person was involved with a third party. Okay, but also Gemini, I have a feeling that there's somebody else here that you're not seeing. Okay, that's why I really feel like whoever this is, this is karmic. Okay, whoever that you feel like you had uh, feelings for, this is a karmic energy. There's someone here from your past that you haven't really considered. And maybe you do, but you're not really seeing them right now because you're really focused on this third party situation. Okay, now for some, okay, like I said, you actually have uh, another person outside of this uh, individual over here. and But honestly, I don't feel it. I feel like this is the third party over here. You know, so, um, you know, this person really didn't have your best interest at heart. But there's someone else who, who does. Okay, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Also, again, here comes that King of Pentacles. But it's in reverse. You know, so I have a feeling that... Um, you are your person, and I feel like it's your person over here. Um, they really can't give you the time of day, okay? Uh, I have a feeling it's because they have a child or they have some sort of uh, connection with someone else, and um, maybe uh, they're with the person for financial reasons. Whatever the situation is, you know, I feel like they have children, okay? So your person can't really uh, open up towards you, but I also feel like this is you towards them, okay? You're now seeing that because your person is involved in a third party, I really feel like you are choosing not to open up towards them. You are not giving them the time of day. I really feel like you're putting up some kind of a boundary because why? I mean, look at this person. Uh, they're really cold towards you. So tit for tat, right? At least that's what I'm getting for today. Also, um, I see you want a new love. So whether or not this is towards this person or not, and look, you feel like you can't, you can't let go of the situation. So, you know, Gemini, I really feel like you love this person, but, um, and you're going to be watching uh, this individual and... I really feel like there's something financial here. It's time for you to let this one go, to be honest. 
Okay, I feel like uh, you've known this person for some time and you want to make an offer. Okay, so you're trying to make a decision what to do. You know, for some, you're thinking about traveling towards this person, um, but you're feeling stuck. Okay, you're feeling stuck. I have a feeling that maybe your person is, again, I keep feeling a baby's mama or someone who is married. Now, for some of my Geminis, okay, you are actually in a relationship with this person. I'm getting multiple scenarios for today for Gemini. And it could be your nature because you're the twin. <laughs> I feel like you're dealing with multiple people here. Okay. At one aspect, it could be you and uh, this person that you're in a relationship with and you have children with them. Um, but there's also other children here involved. And that's why it's a tricky mess. It's a tricky situation. Now, if that's the case between you and this person, you guys are having a pissing match. Okay. You guys are being cold towards one another. Okay, and I really feel like it's because, you know, there's uh, a situation dealing with an external person or whatever, okay, that is interfering in the connection. Now, that person was heartbroken over that, and it could be because of you. On the same token, this person may have like another uh, past individual, and I feel like for some, maybe this person had a baby with someone else, and that is this past person that's coming back into your person's life, and they have no other choice because they have a child together. Okay, you can't just cut off a parent, you know, because you want to, you know, so there has to be some sort of interaction there between the two. Okay, and also what I'm feeling is that you're starting to see that, um, you know, you can't let this person go for whatever reason because you feel connected with them. You really uh, see them as your divine counterpart, okay? You know, and you know that this isn't over, um, but you feel like, you know, you're trying to win at all costs. Like, who are you fighting against? Is it you and someone else? I really feel like, Gemini, you're stuck between like a rock and a hard place, okay? I feel like there's multiple parties in your uh, reading today. Okay, I'm not going to lie because I keep getting different, like, you know, positions, um, you know, because I, I really feel like I'm channeling for a different group of uh, Geminis. Okay, take it as a resonate. But um, I see that here you are, you're trying to make some sort of a change and you feel like you can't really work on this anymore. Okay, you're starting to lose hope and um, you're really blocking out how you're feeling about this reconciliation or maybe judging this person um so you need time to really reflect and heal okay about what this third party is like i said the third party could be on your side it could be on their side it could be on the both of you side and then here you are <laughs> bling next day i'm sorry i apologize you know, and here you go with the communication. So I definitely feel like maybe within eight days or possibly a couple of months, okay, uh, you may be uh, the, the one to connect or contact this individual, okay, that you love them. So here you are back and forth, lovers quarrel, but you're, you're feeling like, you know, you're not feeling complete, okay? You really want to work on this with someone that who is either your divine feminine or um, your divine counterpart, okay? If this isn't a divine counterpart, this is a baby's mama. Take it as it resonates or baby's daddy. Okay. Whew. Let's see what else. So in the past, okay, you were stressed out. Okay, right now, there is a karmic that is interfering. Whoever this person is, um they they really want to control the situation okay that's why again i i see here the seven of swords in reverse it's in your reading two times gemini there's something that you're not disclosing to this person over here okay you're hiding something you know but you're starting to see the truth that you're you're upset so the reason that you could be hiding uh something is because this person is really cold and closed off and the whole reason for you to really get stressed out is because in the first place in the past this person cut you out and they didn't tell you what the, what was going on you know right now this person has a hard time of opening up their feelings and you feel like it, it's because there is a karmic 
like situation that's manipulating somebody okay uh also in the outcomes okay this person felt like they had a missed opportunity and you you're just not open to express your feelings okay or whatever it is that you're holding back you're starting to see something very clear so i'm gonna take the rest into the extended and in the extended we're gonna go over past present and future energies between the both of you along with uh hidden messages okay uh messages that your person would like to say and uh messages that spirit wants you to know along with uh love languages what would they say um if they were to come through and show you love and uh finally an oracle message from spirit so if you'd like to uh, follow the extended, the link is in the description box below. Also, if you use the coupon code BLK2021 by today, you can get 20% off your extended reading. Okay, so thank you all for watching. And also, if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, you can also book at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. Again, uh, the same coupon applies. If you want to book a private reading, you can do so today or whenever you're watching this channeling um uh the uh, coupon lasts until uh the end of today which is uh november 30th 2021 now if you're in the uk or on the other side um it may be december 1st okay so thank you all for watching and i'll see you on the other side Bye bye